Hi, I'm Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I did not realize that Blacklist came back this week. Well, for, I think it, came, it comes on Fridays. Um, so, I was doing something else and I saw that YouTube put like a preview of episode 2 for, I believe, season 8. So, I was like, what? So, I spent my day not my day um when I was watching dishes and like you know cleaning up the kitchen I remembered I watched um last season's finale due to the fact that everything that's going on with COVID um the pandemic and the shutdown they did um season 7 finale really good and I was like mm, let me just brush up on kind of what I missed and let me just watch it it's on Netflix um, I love the blacklist and for some reason I never remember when the new season um, comes out it usually comes out in like September but because of the pushback and the shutdowns and everything coming back together but for some reason I always tend to when I decide to go back and watch episode or the let me back it up the first time I ever saw The Blacklist, it was on Netflix. And it was like during the summer, um, you know, fresh new baby. <laughs> fresh new baby and a, a two little toddlers, if I'm correct, or no, fresh baby and a little toddler. And um, I ended up, because I could not sleep and I think I came in watching uh the blacklist on tv on season three but i've watched season one and season two like i binge watched it because my kid gets up and eat it just not, and i couldn't really sleep so that's how i ended up watching the blacklist and i love it um i am still amazed about how well they set up um, season seven, um, episode nineteen, uh, episode nineteen, because I guess they did parts of it, like filmed it, and the rest they had um, animated. Like, and I love comics, and I love DC comics and DC cartoons, so I was really intrigued on how the animation and just it just gave me so much archer vibes yeah yeah and i just really loved the animation and just i loved it and the voiceover and the background and how they set it up and they did an amazing job i love the fact that blacklist is actually filmed in new york um i will find where they film one day i will um, so, it, it's pretty cool, um, but season 8 opens Roki, Roki, or, yo, whatever this man's name is, okay? And, if you didn't watch, uh, last season, it's like how they closed it out, it was very good, I think you should take a look at it. Um, I'm not gonna give, like, the full bit by bit of blacklist because honestly i watched it like two three hours ago i ain't gonna even lie it's like nine o'clock now um <laughs> i remember some of it and some of it i don't but um it it opens up with you know liz and hud mama well it doesn't really open up with them it opens up with like some dude is like in a in a hospital not a hospital he's in a hotel room i guess they're protecting him he's in witness protection well the door next the room next door the guy's supposed to be sick um and then you see because i'm thinking oh they're incorporating the mask and stuff and i'm thinking okay is this gonna be like a covid plot because you know i realized some of the shows that are coming back like chicago my chicago pd and that other one 
Chicago Fire, I know they're like taking steps to like include what's going on in some of the episodes. So I thought that because, you know, I see the man and he's like, you can't breathe. He has to go to the hospital. No, they're going next door to break out the guy that's in witness protection or not witness protection. Like he gone, he has like, they're protecting him for his court date. So I guess he did like some murder somehow. And I guess the guy that's kidnapping that makes people disappear. Ooh, I can't remember that name, but he helps people disappear. So I guess that's what um, Reddington means the FBI and all of them, you know, his team of people that help him get people that did him wrong. That's, that's their team. Um, to help them find a guy because I guess he helps people disappear and I guess the next person he helped disappear is Katarina Rostavia. Man, Liz Mambo. And so now Liz, I guess, goes back and they go to the warehouse and she finds a picture of where they're keeping the grandfather and then she just, first of all, before that, they had like a meeting about how you know, where is your alliance? Is your alliance to him? Is your alliance to Redditon? Is it to your Katarina? Like, and she's like, I don't want to be in the middle. Trina, she crazy, bro. She crazy. But she does, ends up telling her mom, like, hey, yo, what's this about? And then she's like, no, it's a plot to catch Redditon. And then she explains the reason why Redditon is you know why she wants to basically hurt her daddy hurt Reddington because he's not Eli and he's supposed to be like some man um M M something 513 M13 whatever um he, they they believe that that's who Reddington is but my thing is I would not try, like yeah she got that story from the mama because you know Reddington and her granddaddy they don't want to tell her the true story so Liz dumb self decides okay I'm gonna help my mama so what she does is she go and decides like hey I'm gonna go tell Reddington I'm gonna ask him a question he can't answer my question I, I'm giving him the photo we're gonna set it up and basically I'm gonna let my mama kidnap my granddaddy so <laughs> Reddington decides to tell her some bull and then she gave him the photo and she's like I love my grandfather you need to have him removed you need to move him out of here you need to get to him safe place what so that she does that, Reddington falls for it. Reddington is like, you know what? I'm going to believe her. So I guess they're trying to find some dude named Santiago. And I guess Santiago has like mad stuff that's wrong with him. He's an older man. He has like the scar. And for some reason, they're trying to find him. This man has um, cancer. He has Alzheimer's. He has dementia. He can't breathe on his own. It's like... <laughs> It's not, I'm not laughing about that. I'm laughing about the fact that this man has so much problems. Like, what did he do in his past to just have karma come back and bite him in the ass like that? So, now she's like, now she's calling him from Puerto Rico. And she's like, yo, you been set up. Don't believe shit that you heard. Whatever you think that you're about to do, you need to change the plan. So, apparently, when they're like giving directions on where to go... I guess Katarina um, has this like wear a wire so they can see like where she's going so then Katarina go call a guy and she's like yo put your men in place it's about to go down and then he Reddington calls Liz and Liz is like yo listen Reddington's like we've been set up you need to change the course um don't stop I think he told her don't stop or don't pull off some shit like that this have a go. Listen, I'm gonna be long gone before that happened because it's a new change of plans. I don't trust you. I'm gonna go side with my mama because 
she gonna make sure my granddaddy tell her everything that's going on. What? Listen. I, I, I would not believe this woman. I don't care. Like, you don't know her, and yeah, that's her mama, and you want to believe her. But, you know, <laughs> looking back, <laughs> bitch, Reddit said he lied to you. He showed you who he was from jump. Um, it, it, and it's very funny because there is this one part in particular in season one. It's the pilot episode. And it's like they have Reddit to them like in this clear box. And he's saying, I will tell you whatever you need. I will help you whatever you need. But he's like, you know, but from this on, I will only speak to Elizabeth King. And then, uh, <laughs> wrestler, he's like, who the hell is Elizabeth King? Um, or Agent King, some shit like that, he says. And it's just so funny how, how far you know they've come from all the seasons like this man has been in your life from I guess from when you were a child but you didn't know it and it's just like most of the stuff and crap that he has done to you um he was there but wasn't there he was like in the shadows helping you in certain ways so once all this happens and you know she she kidnapped the granddaddy take the granddaddy to the mama uh well the, well the people pick the granddaddy up um when the captain and redditon is having this conversation and he's like i don't i don't know who she is like she's changed she has this dark side and he's like this is because of you and redditon is like no redditon's like I gave her education. I gave her education in people. And I'm just like, bruh, mm, did you? Did you really? Like, some of the crazy things that half the things that she has done. Yeah, she kind of learned some of them tricks not to be evil and from Redison. And I just love me some James Spader. I just love how he does it. And I also love his voice. And I'm pretty sure that he is also um the voice of Jarvis in um the adventures you know when they first started out and had Jarvis and Jarvis on the computer and Jarvis is a man like I'm certain that that is James Spader I believe it is that man oh he could tell me anything and I would buy it I just ooh. I love his voice, but just the way he acts and just his storytelling and just how he is. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, well, are we supposed to, I love me some Rom. Rom's like, well, we're supposed to help Agent King. And he's like, no, we're going to arrest her. She's a few, and this, this like, is like the second or third time homegirl became a fugitive. Like the first time, I think it was like with her and Redditon. And she was like a fugitive for a hot second. Then she got reinstated. And now you a fugitive again? You. Alright, do you? And I just love Aram. Aram feels for her. And Aram was just like, we gotta help her. And then <laughs> the captain was like, oh hell no. Mm -hmm, we gonna arrest her. But, and the other new agent is like, not any family therapy. I, I love the comedy and just the, the remarks in the shows. It's really funny to me. Um, and then Agent King does get in contact, but she called dumbass wrestler. And a wrestler is meeting her in like this shady, dark ass alley. And I feel bad for poor wrestler because he's hiding this half his secrets and all this other stuff. And then she's he's just like. He's like, well, you should have told me. You, you should have told First of all, she's been one up in you for the longest, and you keep believing her bullshit. Not, I kind of like their dynamic at first. I thought they were going to get together, and they was like, no. 
but I do like their dynamic. I do think they make a really good team. And somewhere down the line, I thought they were going to kill Wrestler off. Those touch and go. Damn, they're all of King's partners. They die. Like, but, you know, I love their dynamic. <laughs> and then she handcuffs the man. I'm just like, what? And then, like, you see her walking off. And that is pretty much the end of that episode. Um, I really enjoyed this episode. I cannot wait to see next week's season two. Um, mm, yeah, season two. Because it will come on the week after. It, it will come on that week of Thanksgiving. I hope it does. It should. Like, I had enough time. And don't give me no breaks in my shows right now. I'm enjoying this, like, flow of TV shows. Um, and also, I am, I can't wait to see, like, what else is going to happen. I'm looking forward to this season. I'm looking forward to the twists, the turns, the plot lines, the betrayal. I am here for it. Um, that's, like, I'm still getting into, like, my shoulders slowly coming back. I appreciate them. It's slowly coming back. And I'm starting to feel some type of... Mm, well, let me see. I know tomorrow... Um, tonight's Sunday. So, um, tomorrow, I know, like, Channel 2 starts, like, putting their comedies back, I believe. Well, their comedies for Monday, because I know Young Sheldon came back. My son loves Young Sheldon, so does my mama. And I really want to give This Is Us a chance. And I'm just, uh, I don't know, like, I watch, like, two episodes of it, and sometimes I watch, like, the clips that I see on YouTube. I really want to give this us a chance. I love me some Mandy Moore, and Milo, it, first of all, he's from Gilmore Girls. I just love him. But, I don't know. But, I'm going to, I want to give it a try. I, I want to give it a try. But, I hope you, kind I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what shows you are looking forward to for com for the new upcoming season. Um, I got my little Riverdale shirt on. I don't know if you can see, like, the Riverdale, yeah, property of Riverdale High shirt. Riverdale's not back yet. I think it's coming back next year. Um, I think all the January or February. Um, I'm here for it. I like a lot of... I have a, yeah, I also rock my Riverdale backpack all year round. If I can, I'm just looking for like an arrow backpack, a black lightning backpack. I, I like comfortability. I still like to keep it cute, but I just like to also be comfortable. I got three kids. I just like to be comfortable and I think that's like an overshare and too much, but once again, I am Jessica, and I would love for you to leave me a comment, a like, and I would also love for you to subscribe. I'm somewhat weird, but listen, normal is overrated. <laughs> Have a good one. Bye.